Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, wherever you are. Remember, you have greatness inside of you. Welcome back to another Abs Daily News with your hockey coach, Guru Cold Frenchy. Today, episode number one, two, four. What do you have on the menu, coach, today? First of all, I'm going to talk about my five players. I'm going to really, really watch them to play at the rookie camp start tonight. Then I'm going to talk about five players I believe are untouchable for the Montreal Canadiens. And at the end, I'm going to talk about the NHL news today. So don't go nowhere. You know the drill. You know how this works. Click on the like, subscribe to Dark and Insulate Show, sharing this video on your social media, and finally, leave me a comment about the episode 1, 2, and 4, and let's dive in talking about all the subjects we have today for you guys. The first subject of the day, guys, is the Ab Rookie Camp. Finally, we are there. They have called the Prospect Challenge between six teams, the Buffalo Sabres, the Boston Bruins, the Montreal Canadiens, the New Jersey Devils, the Ottawa Senator, and the Pittsburgh Penguins. It's going to be in Buffalo at the Lecom Arbor Center, where the facility for the Buffalo Sabres, where they practice. And I want to talk today, guys, my five players to watch during this uh, rookie camp for the Montreal Canadiens. They are not particular over other players. It's just for me, they have some things I need to really pay more, a little bit more attention. First of all, the first overall pick for 2022. Of course, I'm talking about Gerard Savkowski. A lot of people thinking he's going to play with the Montreal. Some are thinking, oh no, he's going to play in American Hockey League. They are the two destinations for him. It would be interesting to watching him now play against other players in NHL level. The next one is, of course, his teammates, Philippe Mezar from Slovakia. Mezar, 26 overall pick for the Montreal Canadian. And the reason why, compared to Stavkowski, him, we don't know where he's going to be. What are you talking about? He could play with the Montreal Canadiens. He could play with the Laval Rocket, or he can return, play his first year in the North America and OHL. Worst case, he can return to play in European. Number three is Jan Mizak. What him? First of all, he complete his uh, state junior with the Hamilton Bulldogs. We know he did very well on the. World Junior Championship with the Cheshire team with, as the captain of the team. He's going to start really as a hockey professional with the Laval Rocket. It's going to be interesting to watching him. Of course, he's not going to play with the Montreal Canadiens, but he's a player I want to see what he looked like. Again, other players uh, at the rookie camp is someone I'm going to watch really, really, very closely. Then I want to talk about the defenseman, Caden Cooley. The high expectation. I believe the reason they trade Alexander Romanov is because they expect a lot from Caden Coley. He had an amazing great year last season, you know already, at the Mineral Cup with Edmonton All King. He did maybe the best defenseman, the top three best defensemen in the Canadian Hockey League Junior last season. The Montreal expect a lot from him. I would not be surprised uh, he become really the most important defenseman at the, for the young prospect they have, the Montreal Canadian. Finally, my last one is Matthias Norlander. Everybody talk about Justin Barron, talk about Jordan Harris, and we forget a lot Matthias Norlander. I will tell you why. He's really the most closely players fit in the system of Martin St. Louis. He's a player carrying the puck. He's a guy who is great on transition. He is a really smart, intelligent, vision player. He is a great passing, play on the power play, good shot, he can pass the puck. He have a lot of things he check for Martin St. Louis. So it's someone I'm really looking for. Unfortunately, for the last 16 months, he got hurt a lot with concussion and injury. Unfortunately, we know we heard today about Joshua Watt. We not participate at the rookie camp after a minor injury at the one of his hands. So he's going to be out of the rookie camp, see in Montreal, going to get some treatment and be ready possible for the main camp. So he's going to be missing him. Yes, you have other players you can talk about, like Raleigh Kidney, 
Owen Beck. There are the two other players will be interesting to watch during that rookie camp. And defensemen, we know Jordan Harris. They have nine prospect defensemen for the Montreal Canadiens. Would be some we are going to be watch for sure. What do you do, coach? Are you going to do the live streaming about this? Uh, we don't know yet. I'm going to looking if uh, maybe not all full description, but maybe watching the game with you guys on live streaming with, with the Hockey National Live Show. Let's move on for the second subject of the day. And the second subject, guys, about the five untouchable players for the Avs. Uh, I really believe they are right now the best five where I don't see any clothes the Montreal Can Canadian could trade them. First, of course, the captain, Nick Zuski, just signed an eight years contract. Uh, he became the 31 first captain of the Montreal Canadian franchise a couple of days ago. See him to go nowhere. The second one is Cole Caulfield. Uh, we know he has an amazing great end of the season under Martin St. Louis. We expect a lot from him. Uh, he was the 15th overall pick by the Montreal Canadian 2019. Is someone now we're going to see how he's going to respond with maybe possible a full year under the wing with Martin St. Louis if he's able to reach the number 30 to 35 goal. But I don't see Montreal could trade him at this moment. The number three, of course, the first overall pick 2022 NHL draft, Gerard Savkowski. Honestly, this guy don't go nowhere. For the Montreal Canadian, Montreal expect a lot from him. Um, it's under the one, is undershable right now for the abs. Uh, number four, the defenseman Caden Coley. The 16th overall pick in 2019 is under the one, I believe, the Montreal Canadian will not try to trade him at all. He's going to be possible, well, not possible, he will be a top four for the Montreal Canadian in the couple of years, a possible maybe top two if he develops and reach his full potential. Uh, this guy can hit, he have a great vision, can pass a little bit more offensive now, and uh, he's really great on the transition. So Caden Coley, I believe, is not undershable for the Montreal Canadian. Then finally, my last one is a 62 overall pick for the Montreal Canadian in the NHL Draft 2022. The American Lane Hudson played now for the Boston College NCAA. Look, this kid have a lot, a lot, a lot of talent and skill. We know he's a small player, so only 5'8", barely, and one of the 50 pounds. But at this moment, I think they expect a lot from him. I don't see him to go nowhere. I believe he's going to be with the Montreal Canadian at least for a couple of years before it be possible to become a trade bait. But right now, he's an undershable player for the Montreal Canadian. I could add one more. I think Sean Farrell will not go nowhere. Sean Farrell is another small player, 5'8", 5'9", play for Advert NSA. He have a lot of upside down, very smart, very offensive player, a great with the Team USA at the World Junior Championship, return for his second year in NSA. Now he's going to step up his game, and we'll see what he's going to do over there, but I think he's another undershable for the Montreal Canadian, and that's complete my list of the five undershable players for the Montreal Canadian. Let's move on for the last subject of the day. We have a couple of news in the NHL today, guys. The first is coming from Tyler Mate. Finally find a, a place to play for the upcoming year. Mate played last year with the New York Rangers after he got traded uh, at the trade line from the Vancouver to the Rangers. Uh, signed a one year at $1.35 million with the Ottawa Senator. This is another player going to bring more depth on this team. We know they still negotiate with the uh, Formenton at this moment. Mate played for the last two years with a total of 15 points for each year with seven goals, eight assists. He got a lot of injuries, obviously, in the last three years in NHL. Be interesting to follow him with Ottawa Senator. My next news for the NHL news today is came from the Nathan Gerbs. Some people call Gerbs. It depends what kind of pronunciation you want to apply for him. But he announced his retirement as a professional hockey player. Played 11 years in NHL with the Buffalo Sabres, five years and three years with the Jackets. And Kane, he played over 435 games in NHL with 63 goals and 88 assists for a total of 151 points. We know he was a really small player about what? 5'6", five, 5'7", five, max. Uh, but again, his speed was unbelievable. Uh, did pretty good overall. Uh, 
and uh, over 11 years in NHL on this way, guys. This complete all the subject we have today on the episode 1, 2, and 4. That's it. That's all. That's complete our episode today. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Please, uh, before we leave, we want to remind you, don't forget to click on the like, subscribe to the Hockey Nation Live show. Leave me a comment about episode 1, 2, and 4. And finally, of course, uh, you have greatness inside of you. Have an amazing, blessing day, everybody. Mm -hmm.